Microsoft has come up with yet another banger. This time they have released Agent Lightning, which is a sophisticated training framework that automatically optimizes AI agents to make them smarter and more effective at their tasks. Let me explain in more simpler words. So what happens is that you can take any agent built with any framework, including Langchain, Autogen, Crew AI, Camel, iGent or whatever, and then you can immediately start improving that agent. The tool works by treating your agents like a machine learning model that can be trained on data sets of tasks using advanced techniques like reinforcement learning, automatic prompt optimization, and supervised fine tuning to systematically enhance performance. It can even selectively optimize individual agents within complex multi-agent system, giving you granular control over which components to improve. I think this tool would make more sense if we see it in action. So let's get it installed and then we will play around with it. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. So this is my Ubuntu system. And this is my GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me create a virtual environment. And if you're looking to rent a VM or GPU or CPU on very, very affordable price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. And now let me install all the prerequisites. Let's run this. This is going to take a few minutes. While that happens, let's talk a bit more about this Agent Lightning. So the practical usefulness of Agent Lightning becomes clear when you consider how challenging is it to manually tune AI agents for real-world applications. Instead of spending hours tweaking prompts, adjusting parameters, or redesigning agent logic through trial and error, Agent Lightning automates this entire process through a structured training loop. It continuously tests different configurations, analyzes what works and what doesn't by examining detailed execution traces, which they call spans, and generates improvements based on concrete performance data. For example, in optimizing a meeting room booking agent, which we are going to test shortly, Agent Lightning can automatically improve decision-making accuracy from 57% to 72% in just 10 minutes by systematically refining the agent's instructions. This makes it quite invaluable for production AI systems where reliability and performance directly impact user experience and business outcomes. So let's see if it is true or not. Let's go back to the terminal. And everything is installed. Next up, let me set my OpenAI's API key. And if you are following along, you can go to platform.openai.com, grab your OpenAI's API key. That is a paid option. So let me set my key and clear the screen. Next, let's git clone the repo of Agent Lightning and I will drop the link in video's description. Now let's go to the demo directory, which is with API. Okay, let me go to the proper one. Let's do ls and let's go to the proper one. So this is the directory and please make sure that you check the path because it's a very new project. Uh, there are breaking changes. So make sure that you are uh, checking the right directory. Now for the demo purposes, what I'm going to do, I have opened two terminals. So I'm going to demonstrate the room selector agent with APO example. And just bear with me. I will explain uh, APO in more detail shortly. So what agent is going to do, it is going to learn to book meeting rooms by optimizing its prompt automatically. The agent will improve from 57% accuracy to 72% accuracy in about 10 minutes. So I would, so I have just opened two. I'm just going to open another one. I just want to show you everything running in parallel. It might be a bit close, so just bear with me. Let me adjust my three screens. So these are the three terminal windows. First, let's try to understand what we are doing here. First one, AGL store. This primarily starts your Lightning store server, which acts as a central database and message queue for the entire training system. And it primarily runs on local system and manages all communication between the algo, rhythm and the runners. For example, it stores the task, prompt versions, execution results, and detailed traces of what the agent does. 
Second one, this starts a runner process that continuously polls the store for new tasks to execute. When it receives a task, it runs the room selector agent with the provided prompt template and it automatically captures detail execution traces or spans using the agent ops tracer and then sends the results back to the store. Third and final, this one starts the APO or automatic prompt optimization algorithm which is the brain of the operation. It creates improved prompt variation, sends them as a tasks to the store, waits for the runner to test them, analyzes the results, generates critiques of what's wrong and rewrites the prompts to be better, repeating this cycle to optimize the agent's accuracy. So let me run all of them. So our agent store is running as you can see. Now our room selector is also running. And the output is passing very quickly as the model is trying to optimize. I have just made it a bit bigger. Let me make it more bigger here. You know what? Let it finish and then I will try to explain uh, what exactly has happened here. But I can already tell you this is a real, real good improvement. But anyway, let it finish and then we will see. And be aware of your API costs. This could really get out of hand fairly quickly. So I'm, I have just pressed Control C and because I think I can't really go and run it indefinitely this is going to bankrupt me but anyway i think we can get uh, the gist of it let me go up and explain what has happened here now for um, explaining it in easy terms what i have done i have copied this output i have put it in this text file just to explain because the main idea is to make sure you understand what has happened here so all of so i have just divided it into chunks the output i mean and all of these chunks show the complete training cycle so you see what Agent Lightning overall has done, it has started with eight parallel workers. It has evaluated a room booking agent on 29 test scenarios. It has captured detailed execution traces and then grades each decision, collects performance data that it will be used to automatically improve the agent's response. So first, this is just a startup and initialization where it has uh, launched the training infrastructure, with eight parallel runners, as you can see, there are eight runners, as I mentioned earlier. Now, once that's done in the next one, this is the central lightning store database server, which started on port 4747, and it has confirmed it's operational. The server will coordinate all communication between algorithm and those eight workers. Chunk three, this is where the APO algorithm has started round zero by testing the original baseline prompt across 29 different room booking tasks. This establishes the starting performance before any optimization happens. Very, very interesting. And I just move here. This is what I was talking about. Then comes a chunk four. If you look here, each of the eight worker processes initializes its tracing instrumentation, which is agent ops to monitor agent behavior. So workers are now ready to pull tasks from the store and I will also scroll through and then they can execute the agent with different prompts. Then in the next chunk, there you go. So this is where actual uh, worker has received a room booking request and the agent has responded by calling the let's say get rooms and availability function. So this shows the agent actively using its tool to gather information before make, making a decision. This is really, I think, very, very cool in my opinion. And then finally, the agent is recommending Nova Room, but the automated grader gives it a 0, 0.0 score because Lyra was the better choice. So this failure tells that APO exactly what went wrong so it can improve the prompt. And then after that judge has uh, done that, there is a successful task completion. The agent correctly solves a different task and then earns a perfect 1.0 1 1 .0 scores in 5.49 seconds. And I'll just scroll here. So the system has captured five execution steps or spans showing the agent's decision making process for later analysis. So in last chunk, as you can see, the worker one, five and six are simultaneously proceeding and processing different tasks, each tracking their progress. So this whole parallelization dramatically reduces training time from hours to minutes. So look, I think Microsoft has done really good. And 
with the help of agent lightning you can automatically set up a complete ai training infrastructure um, you can do a lot of things support is there for even unsloth if you're interested check it out let me know what do you think please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support